Pluto made them come all along. It was like it was never actually a section of the nearby planet group's planetary progressive system. Pluto's circle crosses that of another planet, and that is no sort of conduct for a planet. Pluto, the baffling smaller person planet at the edge of our planetary group, is creating a ruckus in the galactic local area. Late reports propose an approaching crash with Neptune, igniting worries among researchers and space lovers alike. Prestigious specialists, counting Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have raised cautions about the potential results of this celestial conflict. However, how precisely did Pluto find itself on a crash course with its far-off neighbor? And what could this grandiose crash mean for our world on Earth? Join us as we dig into the startling situation developing between Pluto and Neptune. Pluto, once viewed as an undeniable planet, was later renamed as a dwarf planet due to its remarkable orbit. Nonetheless, this change does not stop it from continuing to spellbind and draw in the cosmic community. Later forecasts from unmistakable researchers, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, have highlighted an unsettling closeness between Pluto's trajectory and that of Neptune. These specialists are forewarning about a potential impact between the two planets, representing a critical danger to Earth. The peculiarity of Pluto's venture around the Sun lies in its unique qualities within our nearby planet group. Its orbit spans in broad 248.8 years, and since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has not completed a full revolution. What adds to its interest is the exceptionally elliptical nature of its orbit, a departure from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. Moreover, Pluto's orbit is marked by a 17 degrees tilt to the ecliptic plane making its path steeper in contrast to other planets. This mix of tilt and eccentricity presents layers of complexity to Pluto's orbital pattern. A remarkable part of Pluto's orbit lies in its crossing point with Neptune's path. For roughly 20 years in each orbit, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging assumptions based on their respective positions in the solar system. This prompts the question, why hasn't an impact between Pluto and Neptune happened? The explanation lies in the gravitational influences exerted by other planets. The assessment of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery, presenting an astonishing direction for cosmologists. In contrast to most planets, whose orbits align relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's unique features include a steep tilt and an elliptical shape. The mystery expanded with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses that of Neptune. The stability of Pluto's orbit amidst these complexities serves as evidence of the intricacies inherent in space mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves understanding the motion and gravitational interactions among three celestial bodies, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. It is akin to predicting their paths based on initial positions and mutual gravitational influences. For Pluto's situation, this problem explains the intricate interplay between its orbit Neptune's orbit, and the gravitational pull of the Sun terms like asymmetric libration, scope libration, and the VZK oscillation contribute to unraveling this celestial riddle. Astrophysicists state that AOL libration, responsible for maintaining planets in their orbits, plays a crucial role when it comes to Pluto and Neptune. This term means that when Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is situated no less than 90 degrees away from Neptune, vitally preventing potential crashes. Scope libration, referring to the upward movement of a celestial body in its orbit, ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other giant planets, it is positioned significantly above their orbital plane, providing an extra layer of protection against impacts. A key factor in understanding celestial motion is the VZK oscillation, named after three researchers von Zeipel, Lilly, and Kai, who studied the gravitational interactions between three space objects like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. The VZK oscillation explains why Pluto's orbit around the Sun appears erratic but remains stable over time. Despite the apparent randomness in space, underlying patterns and rules maintain order. These factors generally stabilize Pluto's orbit, preventing crashes with Neptune or deviations from its path. The three-body problem helps us understand how the gravitational forces of these space objects influence their paths. Studying this adds to our knowledge of Pluto, our solar system, and distant celestial bodies. Mathematical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite its chaotic properties, 
Pluto's orbit is actually stable, with minor initial deviations leading to significant differences over millions of years. Nonetheless, Pluto's exceptional orbit maintains stability over incredibly long timescales, keeping chaos at bay. Recent computer simulations have enhanced our understanding of how large planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn affect Pluto's path around the Sun-Neptune special resonance, where it completes three orbits for every two of Pluto, contributes to stability. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role, and Saturn has a smaller effect. Together, these forces ensure Pluto's safe and stable movement through space for billions of years. These phenomena are crucial for maintaining order and consistency in the motions of objects in the universe. Without these components, the solar system would be a place of greater chaos and unpredictability, potentially leading to crashes or ejections from stable orbits, affecting other celestial bodies. Understanding Pluto's orbit is vital, especially in discussions about a potential impact with Neptune in the future. This knowledge provides a clearer understanding of the dynamic nature of our solar system. Pluto's case highlights how seemingly unstable orbits can reach harmony through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. Ongoing observation and analysis of these phenomena are essential for gaining a better grasp of our position in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often reveals the erratic nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit serves as a prime example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital disorder, illustrating the delicate reliance of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is vividly demonstrated in Pluto's case. Even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Programmatic simulations have been instrumental in helping researchers understand how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex numerical models to replicate the gravitational interactions between Pluto and other celestial bodies, like Neptune. By making small changes in the simulations, space experts can observe how minor alterations can have a major impact on Pluto's trajectory. In the late 1980s, these simulations uncovered an intriguing aspect of Pluto's orbit. Despite features like AIML and scope libration that contribute to its stability, Pluto's orbit can still show unpredictability. Even a small initial difference in Pluto's position or speed can lead to significant changes in its path over many years. Despite this inherent chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for an unusually long time frame, extending over billions of years. This suggests that beneath its seemingly erratic appearance, Pluto's journey around the Sun follows an organized order. Predicting the long-term behavior of celestial bodies, especially those with eccentric orbits like Pluto, is extremely challenging. The inherent unpredictability of these systems makes long-term predictions uncertain. Mathematical simulations help us understand and anticipate the future paths of celestial bodies, but they also reveal the limitations of our predictive capabilities. These models heavily rely on precise initial conditions and replicate complex interactions. Even a small error can lead to dramatically different outcomes, making accurate predictions difficult. The turbulent nature of celestial orbits, such as Pluto's, reminds us of the ever-changing universe. While we have made progress in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights our ongoing limited knowledge. Understanding the gravitational effects of giant planets on Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how each planet's presence and position can influence the stability and trajectory of other bodies within the system. Despite these complex forces, prominent astrophysicists are now expressing concerns about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune. This raises questions about why such a crash, which seems unlikely given these unpredictable factors, is now a subject of concern. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a notable astrophysicist known for making astronomy popular, offers a unique perspective on the mysteries of our solar system, especially with regard to Pluto. Tyson, famous for renaming Pluto as a dwarf planet rather than a true planet, shares insightful thoughts on how our understanding of celestial mechanics is continually evolving. Tyson views Pluto's renaming not as a downgrade, but as a necessary adjustment in line with our growing understanding of the various objects orbiting the Sun. His approach to celestial mechanics involves ongoing learning and adaptation. 
He sees the complexity of orbits like Pluto's as an indication of how much more there is to discover in space. Tyson believes the allure of these questions is what makes astronomy so fascinating. Furthermore, Tyson is aware of how space-related events and discoveries shape public interest in astronomy. He believes that events like Pluto's renaming and its unusual orbit present opportunities to captivate the public's imagination and curiosity about the universe. By discussing the dynamic and sometimes irrational aspects of space mechanics, he opens a window for the general public to marvel at the wonders and mysteries of the cosmos. Working alongside other researchers, Tyson is actively warning the public about the potential risk of Pluto's unpredictable orbit. After studying Pluto extensively, he has raised concerns that the three-body problem could pose a real danger, suggesting that a collision with Neptune is long overdue. Furthermore, he emphasizes that such a collision could disrupt the balance of the universe and lead to catastrophic consequences extending to Earth. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would be an extraordinary and devastating event in our solar system. This crash would release a massive amount of energy, potentially breaking Pluto apart due to its smaller size and icy composition. Debris from the impact could scatter across the solar system, posing potential risks to other planets and their moons. For Neptune, such an impact might even alter its environment and orbit depending on the specifics of the crash. Michio Kaku, a renowned theoretical physicist known for his work in string theory and science advocacy, offers a fresh perspective on this situation. His views on the future of space exploration and the connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics provide profound insights into phenomena like Pluto's orbit. Kaku sees the study of Pluto and its orbit as a glimpse into the future of space exploration. Understanding the complex gravitational interactions and orbital elements of celestial bodies like Pluto, according to Kaku, can provide valuable lessons for future space missions. This knowledge can aid in navigating the solar system more effectively, predicting potential dangers, and planning missions to the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. Kaku emphasizes that the lessons learned from studying Pluto's orbit can be applied to explore other celestial bodies, providing a roadmap for approaching and understanding distant worlds. When discussing the physics of planets, Kaku often highlights the deep connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics. He believes that the movements and interactions of planets, such as the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are not isolated events but are tied to fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, especially in string theory, aims to understand these principles at the most fundamental level. He suggests that studying the complexities of celestial mechanics, like Pluto's orbit, could offer insights into the basic laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku has also addressed the potential crash, relating it to his theories about the universe. If Pluto and Neptune were to collide, it would be a significant event in astronomy, offering a unique observational opportunity that could contribute to our understanding of string theory. String theory, a theoretical framework that replaces point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, seeks to describe the fundamental forces in the universe. An impact of such magnitude in the solar system could create extreme conditions of energy and gravity, providing insights into the behavior of fundamental particles and forces under extreme circumstances. A key focus in string theory is also the gravitational waves generated by such a collision, which could provide significant information for testing predictions related to gravity and spacetime. While the direct effect on Earth would be negligible due to our distance from the outer solar system, the scientific implications of such an event could be profound. It might contribute to our understanding of the fundamental nature of the universe, as described by string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Pluto's orbit serves as a striking illustration of celestial mechanics, displaying both stability and chaos within our solar system. The remarkable qualities of its orbit, influenced by the gravitational forces of neighboring planets, especially Neptune, highlight the intricate and dynamic nature of space. The universe holds countless mysteries, and the three-body problem is just one of them. There are other potential catastrophes that researchers anticipate. While the chances of planets colliding in space are extremely low, given the vastness of the universe, it is not entirely impossible. The way planetary orbits are affected by other factors, including gravitational interactions explained by the three-body problem, 
can lead to the creation of musical patterns in some space systems, like TRAPPIST-1. These patterns can make planetary orbits less stable, potentially leading to impacts. However, no impacts are currently happening in the TRAPPIST-1 system. Researchers continue to monitor these systems to understand how planets influence each other's orbits, especially when they are in close proximity. This knowledge helps us grasp the movement of planets in space. Rogue planets, planets drifting through space without orbiting a star, present another intriguing factor. These planets, once part of a star system, are ejected due to gravitational disturbances or other celestial events. For example, the close passage of another star or dynamic instability in their system can lead to their expulsion. Over time, these wandering planets can cross vast distances, potentially entering another star system. If one of these rogue planets enters another nearby star system, there is a slight chance of a collision with a planet in that system. However, Given the enormous and predominantly empty nature of space, the likelihood of a rogue planet directly impacting another planet is extremely low. The vastness of interstellar distances and the scarcity of planets in open space act as deterrents to frequent collisions. Furthermore, rogue planets are relatively rare compared to the number of stable planets and stars, making such encounters even less likely. In cases of galaxy mergers, star systems can be thrown into disarray. The broad distances between stars make direct planetary collisions unlikely during these massive events. Nonetheless, the powerful gravitational forces at play can significantly alter the orbits of stars and planets within merging galaxies. This disturbance can lead to planets being violently expelled into the cold, dark void of intergalactic space, transforming them into rogue worlds detached from any star. Alternatively, these gravitational disruptions could lead to situations where planets are ejected from their orbits, crash into other celestial bodies, or even impact their host stars. In some cases, the gravitational upheaval might even trigger the formation of new celestial bodies or ignite the birth of new stars as gas and dust undergo compression under extreme conditions.